So we're here at the example table, and in this video we're going to do some implicit differentiation examples. So let's start right off with an example. Suppose that x squared plus y squared equals x times y. And we want to find dy dx. So usually when we want to find dy dx, we've been given an equation of the form y equals f of x. But what if we're not? If we're given something like this, we might not even be able to solve for y, or it might just be really difficult. But we can still find dy dx, as long as we know the chain rule. So here, we're going to differentiate everything the way we normally would, but every time we see a y, we're going to remember that y is implicitly, right, mm, implicitly, a function of x. So we're going to apply the chain rule whenever we differentiate something involving y. Okay, so let's differentiate the left-hand side first. The derivative of x squared is 2x. The derivative of y squared is 2y, so plus 2y. But remember, y is implicitly a function of x. So when we have y squared, to differentiate that, we need the chain rule. So we're going to multiply by the derivative of y with respect to x. So times dy dx. It's OK that we don't know what this is, right? This is what we're looking for. So that's the derivative of the, the left-hand side. Now let's differentiate the right-hand side. We have a product here, x times y. So we're going to need the product rule which says that we take the derivative of the first thing and multiply it by the second thing. So the derivative of x is simply 1. So we're left with 1 times y, or simply y, plus the first thing times the derivative of the second. So the first is x, and the derivative of y is this thing that we're looking for. So times dy dx. And we've just done all the calculus involved in this problem. We took the derivative. The only thing left to do is solve for dy dx. This is now just some quantity, like any other quantity. It looks different from the ones we're used to. It's not a or x or y. It's dy dx. But we're going to solve for it in the same way. So let's move all the terms with dy dx in it to one side and all the terms without dy dx in it to the other. So on this side, we're going to have 2y dy dx, and we're going to subtract this term from both sides, so minus x dy dx. And this is equal to y, which was already on this side, and we'll move this 2x to the other side to get minus 2x. Both of the terms on the left-hand side share dy dx. We can factor that out and we're left with 2y minus x times dy dx equals y minus 2x. Therefore, dy dx is y minus 2x over 2y minus x. And similarly, it's okay that we have a y in our, in our uh, formula for dy dx. Because if we weren't able to solve for y in terms of x in the first place, well, we can't do it here either. So this is all right. Let's do another example. Let's now suppose that x cubed y plus xy squared equals 3 minus y. And again, let's find dy dx. So we'll take the derivative of both sides. And again, we'll need the power rule and the product rule. So this first one, we'll get 3x squared y plus x cubed dy dx. Right? That's the derivative of x cubed times y using the product rule and the power rule, plus 
the derivative of x times y squared, which is, again, by the product rule, y squared plus x times 2y dy dx. Right? This x is just this x, and 2y dy dx is the derivative of y squared. So that's the left-hand side. And this is equal to the derivative of the right-hand side. The 3 disappears, and negative y becomes negative dy dx. Just like in the previous example, we've now done all the calculus involved in this problem. All that's left to do is solve for this quantity. So we'll move all the dy dx terms to the left, all the non dy dx terms to the right. So we get x cubed dy dx plus this term, and I'm going to write it with the 2 out front. It's a little easier to see what's going on. So 2xy dy dx. And let's move this negative dy dx to this side, so plus dy dx. What does this equal? Well, the 3x squared y term doesn't have a dy dx in it, so we'll move that to the other side to get negative 3x squared y. And likewise, this y squared. So we get minus y squared. So we factor a dy dx out of each term on the left, and we're left with x cubed plus 2xy plus 1 equals this thing on the right. So when we divide, by that quantity, we get negative 3x squared y minus y squared, right, just this thing from the right-hand side, all over x cubed plus 2xy plus 1. And that's dy dx.